Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Taya Genry here, my bounty hunter. And where we last left off, we were doing the bonus mission series on the Smuggler's Moon of Nar Shaddaa. We are now on our way back to Drawman Kars. One of the officials, the Huntmaster's assistant, has requested we present ourselves to them concerning a private matter, which is unusual, we heard from Mako. Normally, the officials are not meant to show favoritism. But we'll see what they have to say. It's not like we have much choice. So... Back to Drummond Cast we go. Dear people here as always. And over to Class City. Sheesh, it's so dark. Let's see what time it is here. Oh, apparently it's always this gloomy. Lovely. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. And over to the Mandalorian Enclave we go.
Okay, we're meeting just outside of the arena. Glad you responded so quickly. The Huntmaster's assistant's been waiting for you. Excellent. Thank you, Krista. So you know about this as well. Hunter, we don't have a lot of time, so I'll be brief. The sanctity of the Great Hunt has been compromised. Seems a slicer got a hold of the Great Hunt's target list, and intends to auction those names to the highest bidders. Exposure like that would destroy the Great Hunt. I need this dealt with quickly and discreetly. When's this auction taking place? Our informant seems to think it'll be soon. I need you to find the slicer and learn how he got that list. Once the list is secure, eliminate every scrag stupid enough to show up to that auction. Get this list, tie up the loose ends. Got it. Nemro the Hutt's paymaster, Judah, told us about the auction. She's on Hutta. She can tell you more. The fate of the Great Hunt rests in your hands. Remember that. Oh. Get to Hutta and make sure that auction is a silent one. Judah, of course, the Twi'lek woman behind the counter, just outside of Nemro's chambers. He's the one who alerted. Alerted the Mandalorians to the situation. Very well. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Ah, and I thought we'd seen the last of Hutter. Unfortunately, that is not the case. scenic route back to the spaceport. There are quicker ways to get to our destinations, of course. But it's sometimes nice to sit down, take our time, enjoy the world Bioware created for us. Sometimes that world can be a nightmare, like Droman Kars, are literal nightmares where it's a pain in the ass to travel. But there's not many of those, thankfully. It's okay, we're not gonna RP walk everywhere. And we are going this way, if I remember correctly. And I may be incorrect. Ah, perfect.
back to Nal Hutter we go. Unfortunately, we are not able to fly down in our personal starship. We will have to dock at the orbiting space station. And take a shuttle down to the local spaceport. security forces here. There was an Evo Kai trying to sneak away from Hutter. And down to Jaguna we go. Come on, mate. Go. Keep up. Free, go and do the heroics. Very brave. Very brave indeed. is full of surprises. I mean, for an underhanded, gluttonous, backstabbing slob, who'd have thought his palace could be so... clean? Hmm. Pop expected to find a certain group of pirates here. I mean... Adventuresome folk. Chris has said you'd be coming by. I was so relieved to hear the Mandalorians weren't sending a stranger. Before I tell you what I know about this auction, I need to ask for a favor. There are bound to be some really nasty people at this auction, so please keep my name out of this. I don't want to put my family in jeopardy. Dead men aren't much of a threat. That's a very good point. I discovered the auction through one of Nemro's business associates. We were settling an account, and he asked if Nemro would be participating. I pretended I knew what he was talking about. That's how I learned about the slicer and the list. Is this someone you're familiar with, or was he a new face? I know almost nothing about the Slicer, just that it all sounds legitimate. The auction's taking place here in Jakuna. The Slicer left these details for Nemro. I hope they help. It should have already started. 
Please let me know how it goes. I won't be able to sleep otherwise. Okay, go to the auction, kill everyone. Keep Judah's name out of it. Be careful when you walk into that auction. Those scum would just as soon blast you as talk. And apparently the auction has already begun. At least from what Judah tells us. But we have the coordinates. We are leaving Jaguna and heading past the Evo Kai work camp once again. And traveling through the renegade Evo Kai village, next to where we saw the mining droids working in the swamp. Oh! Oh, yes! Two seconds. Preferences. Um. Nameplates. I forgot that I turned their enemy NPC nameplates off. I was taking a couple of screenshots for the thumbnails, one of which was just outside of Jaguna, and the nameplates were getting in the way. Even with the UI disabled, they show up. accidentally stumbled into an ambush. It'd be nice not to have the nameplates. But then... I mean, then everyone who is hostile would attack us first. So we would be justified in defending ourselves. But then we could try to preemptively attack a group and they could end up being friendly. We'd be mousing over everything. we have to kind of balance the immersion to actual, well, common sense. deal with the harvesting mining droid here. You're gonna get it now. characters come to Hutter. Agent, obviously, but they come back later on as well. Sith Warrior, definitely. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Maybe. Maybe the Inquisitor's the only one who doesn't come to Hutter for one reason or another. I just played an Inquisitor recently as well. Okay, this is the place where the auction is meant to be taking place. As the Hunt Master's assistant said, they want no survivors.
We have Hood Cartel representatives. I wonder if Nemro or another of the Hood Cartel are actually here. It seems the droids are providing security for the event. We have the Black Sun Crime Organization, who we saw back on Nar Shaddaa. Members of a swoop gang. You ain't listening. I don't want the whole list. I just want to know if my name's on it. An excellent point. What if we're only interested in certain names? I'm sure we could come to some arrangement. That's what this auction is all about. How about I just bleed you nice and slow, and then take the list from your cold, dead hand? Back off. I need him alive for now. You talking to me, wimp? I don't think you'll realize where you are. Look around. We're the most wanted killers in the galaxy. Anyone here could rip you limb from limb. Let's try to keep this civil, okay? If you're not here to bid, please leave. I say we kill this worm and get another slicer to crack the pad. Suits us fine. You're wanted, you say? So you have bounties on your heads, that's what I'm hearing. Start talking. How'd you get this list? Some guy said he was a Mandalorian. He got me the codes to break in. Said I could sell the names and make a fortune. I want a name. I never met the guy. I got contacted via Holo. He kept his face hidden and disguised his voice. He said targets assigned to Tarot Blood were off limits. Maybe he has money on this blood guy winning. Or Tarot Blood gave this slicer the list. We have to expect Tarot to pull some stunts like this. That man has lived way longer than he has any right to. That'll help you find him, right? I've told you everything I know. Please, just let me go. I'll never talk about that list again. I swear. Who else knows the contents of this list? Nimrod's paymaster, Judah. H help me arrange the auction. She has another copy. I agreed to split the profits with her 50-50. In fact, with everyone here dead, Judah's the only one left who knows about the list. Please, let me go. Afraid I can't do that. <laughs> Judah. He wasn't entirely on the level, it seems. He also has a copy of the list. The auction ended in violence as you blasted the Black Sun, Hut Cartel, and Swoop Gang leaders. Now their followers are angry and out for your blood. Ensure there are no witnesses left to discuss the details of this auction. That's everyone dead. Let's go pay a visit back to Nemro's palace, shall we? Did we get that copy? We did. So 
we have an encrypted data pad with the targets of the Great Hunt now on our person. And the world boss has returned. high enough level that the enemies will ignore us. Nope. I can't remember if that was a thing in this game. It's been a long time. While we're here, before we head back to the town of Jaguna, just south of the work camp here, there is an individual of interest. He's not... he doesn't have a contract out for his blood. At least I don't think he does. But he's not friendly, either. Oh, we have another law object here. Evokai history. While no written record exists concerning the Evokai prior to the Hut's arrival, it is known they were a simple and primitive species with a tribal society. When the Hut's discovered Evokar, the planet that would then become Hutter, they bartered with each tribe individually, offering wondrous technology in exchange for land. The Hutt's dominion over the Evokai continued unchallenged for centuries, until a charismatic Evokai named Ijal led an uprising against the Hutts. Ijal's revolt gained unprecedented momentum until he was betrayed by one of his own tribesmen and delivered to the cartel. Ijal met a gruesome end, while the traitor was rewarded his freedom and showered with riches. Even today, the huts are fond of this tale, as it reminds the Evokai of the rewards of obedience and the price of defiance. We have a campfire just in the distance. And we could be roleplay walking, and it turns out no one's sitting by the fire. In fact, that's getting more and more likely. Hmm. Game. Normally, our target would be here. Looks like someone has already taken our prey. Oh, oh well, a little disappointed, but so be it. Another champion enemy, I believe it is, similar to the Harvester. But we found a law object, if nothing else. It was worth taking the minor detour.
I was just peering into the distance there. Hmm. Never really explored around Jaguna. Like behind the walls. I was just wondering if there was anything of interest. In case of travelling to the north, you end up towards the old muckworks. I wonder if Judah was hoping that we wouldn't find out about her haul, her copy of the list. Or that the auctioneers would deal with us. Let's go hear what she has to say. Was everything taken care of? I know what you did. Let's make this quick and easy. It's not what you think, I swear! I'm the one who called the Mandalorians, remember? I didn't know about the Great Hunt list. All I knew was that Billiken had some valuable information and needed help finding buyers. He gave me a taste! He told me we'd split the profits! I didn't learn what the list was till later. Deals like that always have a price. I was naive. I just needed the money so bad I didn't care. Here, this is the only other copy of the list that I know of. And unless you left anyone alive in that auction, no one else knows about it. Just please keep my name out of this. I tried to make it right. Could she be lying? Could there be another copy? We can't afford to have loose ends. Are you insane? She was trying to... Let's just go. I'm sorry, Mako, but we already let one certain Biff security consultant leave. Remember how that ended up? Yeah, he alerted Eidolon security to our presence. You may have felt it was unnecessary, but... We wanted to tie up all the loose ends.
this ship always warms my circuits, Master. It reminds me I am still functioning. And back to Droman Cast we go to report the situation. Unfortunately, we cannot prove that it was Tarot Blood who arranged the access for the slicer. We know it was a Mandalorian, but there was no way to identify the particular Mandalorian. As Mako said, it could have easily been someone trying to make some easy credits rigging the Great Hunt. Destination, enjoy your stay. Might as well see what the local chat is talking about. Seems there's some sort of discussion over the development team now moved over the broadsword. Now's not the time to stand around John with me, sugar. Huntmaster Assistant Lex's gonna want to hear about that auction. Oop, bloody hell. Glad to see you in one piece, Hunter. Is that auction dead and buried? What auction? I don't know of any auction. That's what I want to hear. Seems the Huntmaster was right about you. Talk to me. This was more than a grab and shoot. Did you find out how that slicer got the list? 
The Slicer said it was one of your people. A Mandalorian? That is disturbing. But with no name, there's nothing we can do but keep alert. We've got the target list back. That'll have to do for now. Thanks for taking care of this, Hunter. It was good doing business with you. Your targets on Tatooine and Alderaan ain't gonna kill themselves. Go get them, pronto! Yes, we shall. Go on. I've distracted you from the Great Hunt long enough as it is. So, we have our new targets on Tatooine and Alderaan. Well, don't just stand there patting yourself on the back. You want to give the competition time to catch up? You mean we're ahead? How wonderful to hear. Very well, we shall take a break here. When we come back, we will be doing another interlude part of the series. Before we continue with the Great Hunt in our next target. And I will have made a slight change to my current advanced class. Well, my discipline I should say. We are going to be trying out the Pyrotech discipline uh, during the interlude, during the next flashpoint. And see how that plays. And all things going well, we'll try out Pyrotech on our next hunts of Tatooine and Alderaan. I am looking to pick up a second combat style, but we'll likely do that at the end of Act 1 when things change for our hunter. But either way, that's enough yoring for now. Thank you all for joining me here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then though, take care. Bye bye now. <laughs>